Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. So, yeah. Brit's dead. There's really no easy way to sit there and say that. There's no, I, I, could, I couldn't have actually thought of a kinder or more sensitive thing to say. Because let's be honest, we knew that this was happening. We knew that this was going to happen last year. Like, months last year. Everyone already guessed that she was going to get killed off. The actress is already going to Station 9, so this isn't really too much of a surprise for anyone unless they don't know how to use the internet. Um, I'm going to be honest, I guess because not to sit there and say I had inside knowledge, but it's like I knew, like everyone else knew, that she was going to be dying, that the scene didn't really do much for me. You know, she first starts off by lying to old Brit, talking about, oh, she had too many drinks or whatever, and she's a little bit tipsy, even after she sees the cut on her, which is a really small cut. It's not even that large of a cut. See, this is something that I just, I don't really understand. She got cut, right? And she got cut 10 minutes out before the ambulance comes. She's already dead. Diane was literally sitting on that ground for a good hot minute. I felt like she was sitting on that ground a lot longer. Diane's fine. Now, again, I, I'm not, you know, I don't really know medicine and stuff like that. And so I don't know if the venom and what she's already going through just made it go a lot faster. I have no idea. But I'm going to be honest. Same thing with Rory. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call it. Uh, I'm gonna call it BS. Okay. I'm just gonna call it BS. Let's just let's just be real. But this had to happen because well, Rory left the show. He's already doing something else, so he had to die. Um, I don't know. Maybe Jace just didn't like Brando anymore. He felt like they had no use for him, so he had to die. We all know that the actress Kelly T, she was leaving. So yeah, ten minutes out, and she's already she's already dead. She lied. I didn't really understand. I, I didn't really understand that. Um, then she finally told Obrick. It was like, it's already too late. And so she just had to sit there. Got this whole thing. Now, you know who I actually feel bad for? I mean, granted, yeah, I feel bad for Brett. But you know how I feel even worse for? Obrick. You know? Um... There's nothing worse in this world than outliving your child. Okay? And now she has to then do that all over again. So if there's one person who I, I truly felt bad for was Obrick. Of course, later when they get to the hospital, you know, Scotty finds out, and Scotty calls and tells, you know, Nina, and eventually Max is going to find out. So it's going to be a whole thing. Um, so that happened. So Josh finally told the truth. Josh told the truth after she slept with somebody else. And, you know, Cam, you know, he, he took it pretty bad. He did. Um, and I say pretty bad, like, he didn't, like, yell or scream or anything like that. He just was in shock and disbelief. And at one point, he actually, in some ways, he kind of blamed himself for, like, not seeing it sooner. So she finally tells the truth. Of course, like, afterwards, like, it, it really matters at that point. But she told the truth. You know the sad part? Well, there's a couple of sad parts. Is that I'm not even mad for how Josh felt. You know, things happen. People grow apart. You know? But it's the fact that she did it afterwards. After she already did her dirt. So she, she ends things. And then she says something that no human being wants to hear. She started trying to use the F word. I was like, no, mm -mm. no, 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 no. And of course, Cam stopped like, no, 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 we're not doing that. 
She was like, no, I want to be friends. I was like, are you out of your mind? It's like, seriously, are you, are you, <laughs> what, how, did the liquor hit you a lot faster? Because, um, on what level do you honestly think she's just going to be like, oh, we can be friends? Well, I mean, you know, like I sit there and drive these chairs. I mean, I was kind of worried for a minute, but since you said we could be friends, well, that changes absolutely nothing. And he was like, no, you know what? I'm good right now. I just need some time to just, you know, I, I, I need to sit with this. So he walks away. Josh is still standing there, and I'm just looking at her like, um... You might want to start moving one foot in front of the other and just keep walking until you hit the door and just walk on out. Stop standing there. It's like, no, 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 no. You don't, like, this is the dude that you broke his heart, okay? Which is understandable. But you also lied to him and you cheated on him. You don't get to just stand there and wallow like, you know, <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're not doing that. Okay, take your two little feet, start walking out that door, and, um, yeah. Now, before that, Dax went with her, because at first she was like, oh, I'm going to go by myself. I was like, are you out of your mind? Do you do not know what happened the first time you start trying to decide to do your own thing and, and decide, oh, well, I don't need a bodyguard. I'm good. So, Yeah. Now, here's my thing, because I, I know some people are sitting there blaming Josh for Brett's death, but let's be honest. This might have seemed like it was on Brett, but in reality, she was coming back. Mm. Now, let me let me try it this way, because that's, that's not going to work. Heather was already going after the target she was going after. Okay? Now, Brett just happened to be in a way just like Brando. But Brando was not the intended target. Joss was. So in all reality, if, if people want to sit there and blame Joss for Brit's death, they could sit there and blame Joss for, for Brando's death. And honestly, to tell you the truth, she's not guilty of, of either one of them. This is all on the hook killer. This has nothing to do with Joss. Joss is, you know what I'm saying? Joss sure is not going to get blamed for Brit's death. Yeah, that was stupid of her to sit there and get rid of the bodyguard when there was a killer on the loose. You know, I agree just how stupid that was. I don't care if she was by the ship. There was a killer on the loose. It was stupid. But it's not Brit's. It's not, you know what I'm saying? We, we're not, Brit's death is not on her. Let's just put it that way. Um... Laura comes to sit there and try to talk to Ava and see if she can help with Nicholas trying to get him under Victor's thumb. And she's like, I don't have anything that can help, even though she knows that she's implicating some dirt and stuff like that. They talk for a little bit about Nicholas and everything. It doesn't really go anywhere. Eventually, they do get a call. And they go to the hospital. Now, Esme is saying that she doesn't remember anything. When she took off the covers, she was surprised she was pregnant. She was like, what, what is going on? So now she's sitting there saying that she has an amnesia. And, you know, Liz, of course, is freaking out, which is hilarious. And, you know, Nicholas is kind of just trying to keep everything calm and cool. And Spencer talks to him for a little bit. Spencer's like, yo, listen, she's pregnant. And uh, it's obviously not mine. So it's yours. At some point, Dante's outside, Ava gets there, and, you know, Nick is like, yo, uh, can, 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 can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I mean, not, not in front of all these people, like, away, like in a corner, somewhere where it's far, 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 and they can't sit there and hear all the dirt that I'm doing. But Ava was like, nah, screw that. And she pretty much just kind of blows up the spot as far as Esme and, you know, um, Nicholas being the father, and of course she slaps him because that's pretty much what Ava does at this point. Um, it's one of her little signature moves. After that, she walks off, and now Nicholas is just looking dumb. 
just when you sit there and think that Laura's opinion of Nicholas can't get any lower. There we go. So the question is, is it a ruse? Is it serious? Now, one of my um, subscribers, Nikisha, was in the comment section. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry if I actually um, spelled your name wrong. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix that now that I remember. Because um, I kind of just wrote out that question really late at night. And I was just super busy throughout the daytime. But anyway, she, she was like, you know, is it like she was not just saying that it's probably a ruse. Now, Liz was talking to um, Nicholas earlier. And Liz was like, I don't think it's, I don't think, I don't think she's faking. Because if she was, then she would have an alibi. And she would sit there most likely be able to throw us in jail. And she wouldn't be, you know, on a hook for, the, for being a hook killer. So she's obviously telling the truth. Even Trina was like, there's no way that Esme, nine months pregnant, can sit there and get the jump on Brando and Rory. Of course, we all know it's, it's Heather at this point, most likely. And now, you know, on the live stream, people were there saying that hopefully it's two, it's, you know, um, it's two people being a whole killer. <clears throat> One, because a lot of people feel like it's disappointing, it's lazy, and a bunch of other adjectives to describe Heather being a whole killer. And, um, I don't know, some other reasons. That was the main one I remember. Imagine that two days in a row, and it was a good episode. Now, I'm not saying it was a blockbuster episode, it was amazing, but it's been much better than some of the, um, well, trash that we have been getting before that, the laziness and uh, non stuff happening. Now, I'm going to be honest, if they can sit there and, and keep on that track and boost it up a little bit more, finish up these stories, they not, you know, they don't need to sit there and have every single person on canvas that episode. We might be able to, we may be able to um, go back to somewhat of the glory days. Somewhat. There's a lot of improvements that they need to make, but I'll be honest, they, they are definitely off to a good start. I'll give them that much. I'm going to be honest, I can't really think of anything else that happened in this episode. All in all, it's a good episode. So, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe, and I will see you in the next video.